Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of the best woven guitar, bag, and camera straps on planet Earth. And now the best is even better with a new line of hand-woven Maya Serape straps with USA Organic Herringbone Hemp backing. Get 10% off when you use the link in the description, and remember when you support my sponsor, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Hey, how's it going dudes and dudettes? Brad the Guitologist here in what is going to be a bit of an addendum to the last video I made on this 1973 Fender Deluxe Reverb. We're going to take a look at the uh, vibrato or the tremolo to be more precise. On this one, I had actually already tested to see that the, the vibrato was coming on. So that wasn't my concern. It was actually, I could tell it was ticking, the oscillator was working, so I knew the vibra it was gonna work. But uh, after the fact, when I went into some more in-depth testing, I was playing it a little bit later, I noticed that the, uh, the tremolo was uh, actually d doing some ticking noises, which is kind of common on these. I don't have the foot switch, so in order to get this to work, I'm gonna put an RCA jack uh, in the foot switch in the back, which is just basically shorted on itself. So we will put that right there to short the uh, vibrato and bring it on. So it does work. But you can hear that tick, 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 tick. You can hear that uh, bit of ticking that's going on there. Well, there was a service bulletin that was released a long time ago by Fender. It's called service bulletin number nine. We're gonna go through the steps of that service bulletin and see if that does indeed fix this ticking or if there's some other creative processes we're gonna to have to uh, undergo in order to fix that. So yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, here we are inside the amplifier and according to this service bulletin, the number one cause of uh, the problem is the sloppy lead dress, especially over here in the area of the uh, controls and what we want to do what it suggests to do is to route away the uh, controls for the speed and intensity which are these two here away from the tone controls which are down here beside it also away from these uh, power filter leads that are coming up out of the doghouse right here here are the leads coming in to the board from that ear area and what we need to do is do something different with these. We need to kind of route these around this. So what we're going to do is fly them up over the top of it. And we're going to push these down toward the board. I think that will probably yield a bit better of a situation. So I want to desolder these three leads. And then we will shorten these and try to route them a different way. So this black one is coming right over to this point. And the white one is going to here, which is one of the legs on the roach. And then we've got this one coming in here. The green one. Okay. Like I said, I think the best bet here is going to be to pull these back through. We've got a resistor in the way right here. We need to move so we can get those out of the out of the way. Let's desolder that temporarily. And we'll get these get these moved out of that position. All this stuff here needs to be as far away from these leads as possible and we need to shorten these leads these suckers are long well let's go ahead and wire this back before we forget okay okay so like I said I want to shorten it now these are braided probably in an attempt to uh, you know help them cancel noise but the problem with that is the leads are much longer than, than they need to be. OK. 
Okay, this green one was especially long. We want to shorten it also. But I want to leave enough lead so that I can bring it kind of up and up over. Bring it down uh, so I can get it away from these other leads, the filter leads. Those are probably the, the worst offender in terms of introducing noise is those filter leads. Okay, this black lead, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave some of the length on this. And that's going to give me some room to come up and up. It's going to give me some room to come up and over a lot of this stuff and come down onto the terminal. Alright, so maybe something like that. So bringing this black one up and over, bringing this green one up and over, and then the white one is coming up as well away from these filter leads. And again, I think the filter leads might might just be the main culprit here in terms of introducing noise. So getting getting it out of the way of those would be should be a good move, like the bulletin suggests. So I think what I want to do is plug it in and see what uh, what that has done. So it still does have. Still does have a little bit of the ticking, uh, but it does seem to have diminished somewhat. Well, that certainly seems much better. Just just moving some stuff around. Huh. Seems like there might be a bit of a. Yeah, I'm gonna spray this jack again. Yeah, that is much, much better, actually. Much better, I have to say. Tons less ticking. Okay, the wording on this next mod is a bit confusing. It says, it can almost be cured by connecting a 0.01 microfarad 600 volt uh, mylar capacitor on the 10 mega ohm resistor in the vibrato circuit. Well, there's only one 10, 10 meg resistor in the vibrato circuit, and it says remove the capacitor across the 10 meg resistor if it's in place already. So I think what they mean is to go around it to basically bypass that uh, resistor. So this is what it's recommending. This is the main thing that it's recommending is to put a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor across this resistor right here. You know, one leg there and one leg there, like so. So let's try that uh, in addition to what we've already done and see if that helps as well. So it's mainly gone. The ticking is mainly gone already, but this, I can't, I can't imagine they would just uh, bring out this bulletin for no reason. So I'm, I'm assuming this will also help. And this is not something, I don't think I've tried this in the past that I recall. I may have. I may have, but I think in the ones that I've had before with ticking tremolo, I was just able to move around the leads like I just like I just did a minute ago, and I shortened a couple of them. I think I want to add this just for the heck of it and see if it gets even better still. So we want to essentially just come across to here. Okay, that supposedly should help it even further. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see if it does. Ticking is completely gone. And if we listen to it now. There's no the tick, 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 tick at all. It's just a nice smooth swoosh is what, what, which is exactly what you want. So that is perfect. Now another solution that some people on the forums have reported uh, did work for them is replacing the 12AX7 with like a 12AT7 uh, and presumably that could also work if you're if you want a solution that doesn't involve opening the amp up so that's a, one possibility as well so what you would do basically is come back here to the back of the amp the second preamp tube away from your power tube so here are your power tubes the, the second one over away from that if you replace this tube 
from a 12AX7 or 7025, whichever one it is in your amp, to a, a 12AT7, it's possible that could also solve your issue. It could also be a, a case of the tube itself just being bad or microphonic, so replacing that tube could also yield some results. Anyway, so those are some things that you can try if your Fender amplifier, particularly your Deluxe Reverb, but probably also a lot of other Fenders would follow suit here. Especially ones from the 70s, because they got a bit more careless with their lead dress uh, along in the 70s. And that's really one of the only things that separates the 70s ones from some of the earlier ones. Because they're this is practically the same amp as the earlier Deluxe Reverb. Minor, minor changes between this one and a blackface. So, uh, And one of those things is they just tended to get a little more careless with their lead dress. So things like this will happen. But when you sort out these little minor issues, you can have some great amplifiers, man, on these silver faces. So hopefully that helps somebody. If you guys enjoy this video, hit subscribe down below. And for now, we'll see y'all later.